Dear audience, welcome back. I hope that you all are fine. Today I have come here along with a new video tutorial on integration. Dear audience, I am going to discuss on some problem relating with integration. The first problem is integration of x cube with respect to x. If we observe that we'll find that it is similar to the standard integral integration of x to the power n with respect to x where n not equals minus 1 and the integral of it is x to the power n plus 1 whole divided by n plus 1 plus c where c is the integral constant applying it we find that integration of x cube dx equals x to the power 3 plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 1 plus c where c is an integral constant after calculation we get 1 by 4 x to the power 4 plus c similarly we can solve the second problem in second problem we just bring out the 5 of integration then we get 5 integration of x to the power 7 with respect to dx and following the above steps we can get at last 5 by 8 x to the power 8 plus c that means it is similar as problem 1 in problem 3 we'll get that integration of 1 by 9 with respect to x this can be written as 1 by 9 integration of dx and we know that integration of dx is x and here c is the integral constant so the integral of the given function dx by 9 is 1 by 9x plus c Similarly, we can find out the value of dx and integration of dx and dt. Integration, integral of dx is x plus c and integral of dt is x plus, sorry, t plus c. Here, before dx there is a 1 and 1 can be written as x to the power 0 or t to the power 0 and applying the standard integral integration of x to the power n with respect to dx with respect to x we can find x and t respectively problem number five here it is given that integration of x cube x cube plus x dx since we know that integration is the linearly independent so we can put the integration sign with the both terms of the given expressions then we can write integration of x cube dx plus integration of x dx and proceeding in similar way that means in above we can find 1 by 4 x to the power 4 plus half x square plus c in problem number six here it is given that means the expression is the product of the two factors so after multiplying one factor by another factor we get x to the power 2 minus 49 that means we have to find the integral of x square minus 49 with respect to x and since integration is the linearly independent so we can put the integration sign with the both terms of the given expressions then we can write integration of x square dx minus 49 integration of dx equals 1 by 3 x cube minus 49 x plus c because the integration of dx is x and integration of, integration of x square is x is x to the power 2 plus 1 whole divided by 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 means 3 and that is why we can write integration of x square dx equals 1 by 3 x cube
Dear audience, I am going to discuss on another problem. It's a problem number nine, integration of cube root of x, cube root of x with respect to x. Here we find that cube root of x can be written as x to the power one by three, and so ultimately the given integral becomes integration of x to the power one third with respect to x and applying this above same formula we can write x to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 whole divided by 1 by 3 plus 1 plus c where c is the integral constant and after calculation we get 3 by 4 x to the power 4 by 3 plus c in question number 12 we it is given that we and that means we have to find the integral of x cube plus one divided by x plus one dx dear audience here x cube plus one can be written as x plus one into x square minus x plus one and in place of x plus one we can write x plus one if we divide the numerator by the denominator we'll have that x plus one and x plus one will be cancelled the remaining x square minus x plus 1 so the integration of x square minus x plus 1 is 1 third x cube minus half x square plus x plus c and similarly um, the problem number 13 can be solved that is integration of y cube minus 8 all divided by 1 y minus 2 with respect to dy here I'm going to solve the problem number 17 it is the most important um, formally are used here integration of 5 cos x 9 sec square x 8 dx since integration sign is linearly independent so we can Put the integration sign with the h term of the given expressions then we can write 5 cos of integration of cos of x dx 9 integration of sec square x dx and 8 integration of dx but we know that the integral of cos of x is sin x and integral of sec square x is tan x so in place of integration of cos of x dx we put here sin x and sec, sec square x dx we can write 10x and the integration of x dx is x so we put here 8x so ultimately the integral of the whole expression is 5 sin x minus 9 10x plus 8x plus c here problem number 25 integration of 1 divided by 1 plus cos 2x dx here 1 plus cos 2x is a trigonometric formula and it can be written as 2 cos square x and 1 by 2 is a constant so we put it uh, outside of the integration sign and 1 by cos square can be written as sec square x again we know that integration of sec square x dx is equal to 10x so we have written here for half 10x plus c problem number 28 here integration of sine x plus cos x whole divided by 1 plus sine 2x dear audience one can be written as sine square x plus cos square x and sine 2x can be written as 2 sine x cos x and in place of sin x plus cos x I write the same thing and we know that a square plus b square plus 2ab can be written as a plus b whole square which is similar to the lower uh, functions inside the square root so we can write sin plus cos x whole square sin x plus cos x whole square and sin x plus cos x dx again we know that square 
of sine x plus cos x whole square is sorry square root of sine x plus cos x whole square is sine x plus cos x here if we divide sine x plus cos x by sine x plus cos x then it will be the x sorry 1 and if we multiply 1 and dx it will be the dx again the integration of dx is x plus c dear audience I am going to solve a very important uh, problem uh, which is the sec square x cos square x dear audience sec square x can be written as 1 by cos square x and cos square x can be written as 1 by sin square x and again one can be written as sin square x plus cos square x now dividing each term of the numerator by cos square x and cos square x sin square x we get sec square x and cos square x again we put the integration sign with each term of the expression sec square x plus cos square x then we get the integration of sec square x dx is 10x and integration of cos square x is minus cos x and plus c and here c is the integral constant dear audience i hope that you could understand today's lesson and i also hope that i'll come back along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye